Bob, Richard Rose, long career on the channel, he was another gentleman that had, experience, had some bad experience okay. with his mother's share. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'll go. Um, anyone else want to talk about your bad experiences at the shelters today? Same business. Oh, right, we have something locked up. Yeah, uh, I think I talked to you earlier about that. Yeah. I'm not yeah. And so, yeah. Are you going back? Hunt. What's your heart of Hunt? Okay, I remember going. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, I was talking to you. Right. See, me and my wife, we don't stay in show. So, yeah, yeah. Like, they separate us. You know what I mean? And okay. like, yeah. I don't, I won't, I won't be a part yeah. of a shelter that houses um, yeah. the homeless as a staff member. Because these people have drug addiction, so they're in prostitution, drug dealers. I know this from yeah. fact, not opinion, because yeah. I grew up in the neighborhood. A lot of them used to have homes, and now they're homeless. You know, of yeah. course, they uh, replace those with um, condominiums right. downtown on the third avenue, six feet south, across from the north side of Temple and the uh, Times Park yeah. Lab. But other than that, though, there's been a lot of people's gear and things we've stolen out of that place. Yeah. And it's kind of like a place for people to single out who is a yeah. part of doing drugs, part of prostitution, part of that world of the hood or the ghetto. Or, yeah. you know, I can't say that, just all the crime in your period. Yeah. And um, I care enough for my people to yeah. not, not have to sit on the street with someone right. because of the fact that they don't have anywhere to go. And um, this Haitian woman was um, turned away and wasn't able to come to the tent city because um, sometimes they had to come and talk to the people. Um, and uh, I told her, hey, you can have my tent. You know, um, we have to start yeah, thinking like, right. we need people yeah. who care. Uh, and not just corporations or whatever they want to call themselves, it's churches that are just giving donations. Letting letting people do, letting us do their work. When we have, might have mental issues or drug issues and not uh, prepared to deal with a job as someone who is trained. Yeah, yeah. Um, another one of the issues of Salvation Army, I mean, freaking uh, uh, St. Vincent's yeah. involved, is um, <coughs> the fruit trucks that come through, and, like all the trucks that can come with nutrients. They would bring through like fresh juices and fresh fruit and fresh everything. You would see tons of food behind the counter when we went to go eat. But the thing was though, nobody got it straight up. And I mean, we're getting these silver packets that I would find in prison or in jail. They have like warning labels on there because of, they're basically like really crappy, um, like uh, um, um, food coloring flavor. You know what I mean? And it's gross. Yeah. Don't even put sugar yeah, in it for God's sake. You know what I mean? And we're up here drinking water, colored water, fakely colored water. And I ate all the pasta, like at several different ones. Like people that love is one of them. But people that love is awesome. I was going when I was kid, I know that my person. But get to the short point, they're not feeding us our diets that we need. And like, if, if I want to be unhealthy, I should have the choice to go be unhealthy. If I want to go eat at McDonald's and eat a burger and go get me a chili dog, that's my choice. But I don't want to eat bread, which is bleach and sugar and salt, and it's got like, no meat in it, and like you just take a condensed can of something that needs water to it and put it in there. And this is flavorless stuff that causes stress, it causes unhappiness and depression, which causes obesity, which causes all kinds of things that hold on to the sugar in the body. We're educated enough to notice now. I think in this new era of our future, we need to start acting that way, and it needs to be, of course, within our kitchens. What happened to the fresh fruit and juices we sent for? Oh my god. Where does that go? What's up with the salad every now and again? You know what I mean? Like, well, you said that they brought it in receipts. They were bringing, oh yeah, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. Like, all right, we got all these Arabic stores around the area, right? Corner stores yeah. and stuff. Um, Apparently, word is on the street that they go and they take the stuff and they sell it to them on a the loan. Now, I've seen tuna in there, Bumblebee tuna and whatnot, that is ancient with dust on it. It doesn't take a detective to know how long it was there. I don't need some Native American tracker to tell me the tracks of this food. Like, I grew up here. I go to these stores every day, so I think I know if the food's been there for a while. And they cost, like, money from when the prices change. Like, the grams on the chips are going down. The only time you can get something that has enough weight in it, you have to buy corn chips. You know what I mean? It's, it's We know what's going on. I think that um, there needs to be, um, so, someone needs to come in and clean this up. Clean this mess up. 
you know, someone with a real authority that's... think it's just poorly managed? It's just poorly managed and we need somebody to come through like a health inspector, <laughs> you know? And even if somebody needs to lose their job over it, yeah. so be it. So be it because I live here and I don't have time for other people to come here to capitalize off of our people. Thank you, especially being that 75% of the African American populace in St. Petersburg, Florida are Native American and I'm 50% Native American. Thank you.